Hi guys, Tech James here. In this video, I will be showing you guys how to install and set up RetroArch on your Nintendo Wii. So there's only one thing you need to get this working, and that is just the homebrew channel. You also might need D2XC iOS. I'm not quite sure, but um, most of you watching will probably have that installed as well anyway. So what you guys want to do is just take out your Nintendo Wii's SD card, connect it to your PC, and I will show you guys what to do next. Okay guys, so over on your computer, I will leave a link to the official RetroArch website in the description of this video. So what you guys want to do, just make sure you're on the Downloads tab. Scroll down and we're just looking for Wii, so it should be somewhere on here. Here it is. All we want to do is just click the Download button right here and it will begin downloading the RetroArch zip file. So once the zip file has finished downloading, you want to head over to your PC's downloads folder and you will be able to find it in here. So get the zip file, right click it and make sure you extract select extract to RetroArch with the slash at the end. We want it as a folder because um, it's not actually compiled in one in the actual zip file. So once it's in a folder just like this, we can simply delete the zip file because we no longer need it. And this is what the RetroArch folder is like. So if you double click to go onto it, all of these with dot do at the end, these are all of the cores. So you can see we've got quite a few on here. We've got Final Burn Alpha, um, we've got Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color. Um, I think this one is Doom. I'm not too sure, maybe. Uh, Nestopia, that's a Nest emulator. Emulator, quickness that's also an S emulator and um, we've got a SNES emulator right here so a pretty good selection of emulators which can all run on your Wii and we've also got MAME and Genesis but anyway once you've got it like this you just want to go back and you want to drag and drop this in the apps folder on your Wii's SD card I've already got one I'm just going to replace it simply drag and drop and then it should go onto your apps folder now it's roughly 100 megabytes so maybe just give it a couple of seconds just to copy across and now once it has done, we can start to copy across our games. So right here, I have a Kirby game. Um, this is Game Boy Advance game. It's entirely up to you where you get your ROMs from. Um, as I said before, this supports lots of different things. So you can use um, Game Boy Advance, Game Boy Color, NES, SNES. It's entirely up to you where you get your ROMs from. But what I like to do is right click, create a new folder, and just call it ROMs. And then this is where you will put all of your ROMs. So I'm going to put in my Kirby Game Boy Advance game. Now you can create another folder inside of this called um, GVA and then put, put them in like that so you can put SNES and NES in at the same time. It's entirely up to you. I'm just going to leave mine in the ROMs folder just because it makes it a lot easier. And what I'm going to do is drag the ROMs folder and just put it onto my Wii's SD card. So that is literally it for the PC. All you need to do is drag this file into the apps folder and drag the ROMs folder onto the root. So here is my ROMs folder with my game in. So now I'm going to disconnect my Wii's SD card from my PC, put it back into my Nintendo Wii, and then I'll show you guys how to use RetroArch. Alright guys, so back over on your Wii, um, we can now actually just go ahead and open up the Homebrew channel. So once you're on the Homebrew channel, we just need to find RetroArch. So if we just scroll along, it should be somewhere. Here it is. We're just going to press A on it, and then just press A on Load. Now this is actually fairly simple. It's like the really basic version of RetroArch. But basically, if you hold your controller on its side, uh, like you would in Mario Kart, you can just scroll up and down using the D-pad, and I believe 2 is Enter, and then 1 is Go Back. So first of all, I'm just going to show you um, just like the whole settings and stuff. So you've got quick menu, load core, load content, load recent. These are all to do with cores and ROMs. Next we have settings. If we press 2, we can go into it. Now I don't really want to change anything, but there's tons of stuff you can change, including network, uh, video drivers and stuff like that. So we're just going to press 1 to go back. We've also got information. This is just like your Wii system information. We've also got restart. This just restarts everything. Maybe if you change some settings or it's not working correctly, you can try this. Uh, configurations. If you press M2 to go into this, this is just like um, you can load configurations to load them up. As you can see, that it's just got the default one here, on here right now. Um, there's help as well. Seems a bit pointless, but you can use it if you want to. And then there's just quit, which is exit. So I'm just going to show you how to load a game, how to load my Game Boy Advance game. So first of all, we're going to go to load core and press two. 
Now we need to find the emulator that I have the game for. So mine is a Game Boy Advance game, so I will use the MGBA emulator. Um, this works with like um, SNES games, NES games, um, tons of other games. You just need to search the cores online and see what core your game actually runs with. Mine is MGBA, so I'm going to press 2 on it. It's then just going to launch into it. Next thing we need to do is scroll down to load content and press 2. Now we need to go down to our SD and press 2. Now we need to find our ROMs folder which we made on the root of our SD card and just press on 2. And here is my Kirby um, Game Boy Advance game. So what I'm going to do to play it is simply just press 2. And then just select your emulator which is MGBA. And then the game will load up. So the games on here uh, work perfectly fine pretty much, well as far as Game Boy Advance games do, um, they, these ones run um, absolutely perfect, and the sound works as well, it's just like you're playing on a Game Boy Advance, but obviously just a better quality screen and a bit bigger. So yeah, really good um, emulator, well obviously it's RetroArch, but it's like the basic version, but it pretty much does everything you want to do, if you want to play NES, Game Boy Advance, um, loads of other stuff, I believe Capcom Play System works as well. So yeah, it's pretty cool. Now once you're done playing your game, you actually just want to press the home button on your Wii's controller and you can just go up to close content and just press 2. Now there is other stuff on here, like you can save the game, um, you can like enable cheats if you wish to. There's also um, overrides and stuff like that, but I'm just going to go to close content and press 2 and this stuff's just fairly self-explanatory. Now we can press 1 a few times to go back to the main menu, scroll down to quit retroarch and you just simply press 2 if you want to quit. So that is pretty much it for this video, so if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe. I just wanted to make this as quick as possible, um, most of you guys will probably know how to use retroarch anyway, but yeah you can also get it on your way. So yeah if you guys enjoyed make sure to like and subscribe and I will see you guys in the next one.